This will be interesting because we actually have like two different philosophies going here. Good luck. Good luck, folks. Driver 7 sand against 3 8 lob. Yeah. It's like the same philosophy, but just a slight shift in, in gapping. When we ran 3 wood, we went 3 6 sand, right? Yeah. Let me write down what we got again. Driver. Uh, driver 7 sand. 7 sand. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Nice three wood. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you scared the crap out. I was like, I that should be driver. <laughs> it's like it sounded like driver. Distance should be driver. I don't know why I would pick a three wood on this hole. It is a terrifying thing, though, right? You hit one wrong club and you lose a hole. <laughs> I know, right? I would definitely think advantage us on this hole. Although, actually, their 8-iron is... I, I thought they were further back. Did you know why I got 2 5-8s? Why? Because this was 5 5 this one. Oh. Wait. This one's prototype is. I need this one. This one. Wow, they changed. It's interesting. That's cool, bud. I thought I got two. Alright, seven iron, right? Yeah, I might be able to get a sand wedge, though. Nope. Yeah, sand is like a stretch play for you, I think. But seven is oh. definitely like super. Pitch shot. I can't hit a seven pitch. Fuck. I think the pitches end at eight in this game. Punch shot. What's the uh what's the green speed? I don't know. No check. Just got uh, good putter. putter, yeah. Well, 75, of course. Of course it is. <laughs> Freaking oobs and all these courses have like one seventy greens. Wait, what does a fully de-lofted sandwich do, though? God, oops. Like, did you did you go through and just, like, try and make sure that every single one was... One... Looking more... Fully de-lofted, you an can ex, probably get 20 another, like, 15 to 20 yards. I might try this. I'm pulling to win. It's I mean, just... you could... Let's say we get an extra 20 yards, I get 123 and 33 into the win. Yeah, I'm going to go fully de-lofted. Delay of game? No. <laughs> no no such thing. There's no shot clock this in this tournament. Bad. Or it could be good. I hope you're going to, I hope you know how to get to your pool tournament fast in the snow. Stay up. Stay there. Come on. So close. Man, it was like a yard from being good. <laughs> good effort. The wait for you. It wasn't that bad of a shot. Yeah, that's good effort. For not knowing, knowing where it was going to go. <laughs> yeah, there is a little bit of a backstop there, but... Never know if you'll just like hop on over it or not. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Slick. No. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try the. I think I'm gonna try the putter here. Yeah, that's a good play. I like it. Maybe give it an extra tick or two since that a lot of fringe. Uh, 
Ah, left it a little bit short. Yeah, I was a little bit here. scared because I was looking at it and I was like, the pullback, I'm like, it feels like I need to go a little bit more, but I was terrified of just like blasting it up and then getting it rolling. Yep. Oh. All right, we'll take one. Did you under hit it there, Okie Doke, or what? Oh boy. How's your, uh... Nope. How's your partial driver punch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 175 uphill, three inches. You gotta, you gotta hit it. Pat redeeming over 9,000 channel points. Incredible. Thank you for, thank you for taking the time to build up those points to waste them here. Appreciate it. What the? Was this Pokemon always finding? Da da. This Pokemon that I just catched. Neo Redeeming over yeah. the 9,000 as well? Hey, I've always called. I, I, I'm like conflicted now because I've always called you Oki, but I've heard Scud call you Neil for Tom. so dang long that I like don't know what to do. <laughs> I pushed it in slow. It's all right. We're on the bad, green, so bad distance. A, Neil is good. Do Oki Neil. They might have a better advantage. Neely Doke. Tree wood in this hole. Yeah, definitely. Just because of the three wood punch, you can take a more normal shot. This should not climb the hill. Although, oh, that kicks. Okay, well, we're on. Ears with the nine thousand and one as well. You we guys are too kind. We got a little bit of a hype train. I'm honored. The people would choose to waste their points here. I don't know what that putt is going to be like. <laughs> yeah, this green speed, uh, get it to the top of the hill and hope that it stays on the green on the roll down. Exactly. So, like, they probably have the much better miss. It's a great chip. All right. Yeah, so, like... This is just a hope for the best. Yeah, just try to snuggle it as close as you can. Might have hit that too hard. Yeah, that's carried too much speed to the hill. You like need that to hit the hill dead. Stop there. Okay. This is an Uber wet tree. <laughs> yeah, it is. Definitely one of those miss in the right place kind of holes. On, get there! What? Oh a my god, it's fucking perfect! What a <laughs> save! <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I put that out like a good three or three more squares. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what is your what is your seven? Uh, shoot. it's like 160-something, 68 or something. 
Alright, I'm gonna try and overpower this drive. Okay. 103. Not good. It's just gonna be tough, because like, I don't want to be driver-driver, so I'm trying to see what I can do to give you a 7. You kind man. Because it's 500 yards into the wind. Problem is, it's 175 yards uphill into the wind, so like, I don't know what you're gonna... This probably works out pretty well for them, honestly. 3 with 3 wood on them. Yep. 500 yarder. So I'm trying to think, my... I know my 7's like 185, but I know you play shorter. Yeah. It might be 170-ish, I forget. Yeah, it's just the uphill and the wind. 173. Yeah, fuck. How much green is there to work with? Not much. It's uh, all sloping back to front, too. Yeah, because what you I can, like... It's 166 in front edge, but... You can probably squeeze a little bit of distance now. out on the D-loft, but not a ton. I might have to just, be, just try it. I'm not holding it with a driver. The platform is so small. Yeah, it's probably like a D loft it a little bit, overpower, and just try and get it up there and hope it sticks. Yeah. Come on, keep going. God, I had a 108 in my practice swing, too. <laughs> it's so tough to replicate those super high-powered ones on the, on the actual thing. Not a bad miss, though. No. Too far out to the left. Right. It's so tough on those two because, like, the the swing plane just rips it on the littlest miss. Nice little check bounce there. That's a, just a tough one there. I try like need a little more overpower on it, but there you go. downhill into the wind is kind of mean. Be good. Sound like a good strike. A little slow. 
That'll play though. Yeah. Might have been play. right there. <laughs> yeah, hard to tell because like the just like a pixel slow or pixel fast, like there's definitely a little bit of side to side and a little bit of distance on it, maybe like a yard, but you never really know with the that compounded with the wind in the same direction how much it like amplifies it. Yeah. That could have been missed left for sure. Played it perfect. Hey, what's going on, Kevin? Perfect in your day of golf? This and then the actual Farmers Tournament? There you go. Very nice. I should probably put it on in the background while I'm painting today. Just as something to listen to so I'm not alone with my thoughts. Oh my god, I heard he made it. What a putt, Scud. What a putt. I'm good, we move. Second guess myself, took it outside an extra click. Wait, so why is today the why is today the final day? Did it start on Wednesday or something? Or is it a three round tournament? I'm confused. Wednesday due to NFL, okay. Um. So the problem is, you said yours is 173 on the 7 iron, right? So there's just yeah, pretty minimal chance, I think, of me getting it all the way down to that. Yeah, I think just do what you feel comfortable. Well, because well, it's downhill down in the middle of this, but... If I gotta punch a driver, I gotta punch a driver. Yeah, because what is the driver punch? Like 240? That might not be bad. So I'll just hit it stock. Because you see that, like, ridge down there? I was wondering, like, if I could somehow blast it far enough. I guess I could yeah. have. Bounded way more down than I thought. So like now that driver punches, yeah, I should have overpowered it. I didn't think it was going to get all the way down there. And what's going on, Stan? Okay, that, that makes more sense. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about that. I know that I'm going to be watching the Eagles on, on Sunday. Probably will end up watching both games, honestly. Yeah. Nice shot. Nope. I saw a little uh I saw a little snippet. No, buddy. Might hit the seven. Yeah, uphill with that, like I think I don't know. It's one of those ones you get a little bit of draw on it and maybe just a little extra power and it should do fine. Yeah, a little baby draw with some overpower. But um, I saw a thing on, on Twitter with Max Homa. They were talking to him about his thought process and stuff on the one hole, and I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. Hopefully they continue to incorporate some oh, stuff good. like that. 105. 
land soft. Oh, what oh, a shot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Bet on Rom to win two back or bet on the bet on the leader? I don't know, man. Rom Rom won there last year, right? And he's playing hot, so it's like those two th it's hard to bet against him right now. He's playing so hot and and just the way that he is at this course. Okay, Scud, you can stop. This is this is why this is why he's as good as he is. I need yeah. to learn whatever he's whatever he's got going on with the putter. Teach me your play, and I'll teach you my play. <laughs> Touche. Well, it's also interesting because you have a different you have a different grip. So translating that is gonna be interesting. This wind is uh, not ideal for driving it. You know, it's not bad. Cause there's a uh, there's some green or like a fairway to play with. Okay. To where I think it might kick through all that junk. If anything, at least miss to the right, and it might feed. Yeah, I mean, I guess the thought is like probably close enough that any sort of sandwich shot is fine around there. Probably higher. Probability than trying to go like seven seven. Can't change grip. Yeah, I'm just I'd have to mess around with it and try and find the feel that I have with that grip. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to stop that. I don't think it's that bad though. Yeah, I think you might be able to like loft and spin your sand wedge and get it to Yeah, I mean it's it's a fairway lie, so you can still get some pretty solid bite on a sandwich chip. Power chip, I like it. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Uphill lie. Pretty good. Nice shot. Thanks. Horseshoot around the hole. Yeah, definitely rolled a little bit more than I'm banking on, but. Yeah, definitely a little meat there. I'm going to take it. Take a little time. Yeah, this is a nasty putt. Downhill a foot from the fringe here with some nasty right to left.
Oh my god, they're just unstoppable. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're just sinking, like... I mean, you made that one incredible putt, but they've made, like, what, three now? All right. I mean, I don't think we well, would have expected any different from this match, but... Pool angles. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Ooh. Ah, oh, this sucks for me. 144 yard shot into the wind, and I've got a hundred and like 85 yard seven iron. What's the seven iron punch do? Am I gonna be? Punching one up. Might be punching one up. Not really a lot of room to punch one up. Oh, look at this. Oh, you dirty girls. One forty six. My concern is like the roll out of the punch shot. Looks I... like there was a backstop. Yeah, it's a it's a little one. It's not a lot. What if... is the full shot? I lands like here. I fully loft it. Just wondering if I can do something stupid where I like put it to the backstop and try and roll it down the hill backwards. I feel like it's not the worst play. Seven iron full off full backspin. I can probably 168. The one fifties. All right, we're going to try and get a uh, awfully fancy with this. Come on, baby. I'll be good. Be damn good. Dude, look at the action on that. I might go in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's incredible. I, there's a little bit of a hill there. That's why there's that much action on it. But it was a fully lofted, fully backspun into the wind shot. And then you hit the backstop and it just comes ripping back. Yes, I feel like we should have won that whole after shot. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Fucking go. I love shot chafing. It's so fun. I mean, it sucks when you get it wrong, but... Oh, it's so satisfying when you do. Alright. I'll take that one. Oh, what a battle. That was one of those ones because I knew how much action I was putting into it. Like, the heart rate definitely went, like, mid-swing. I was like, just hit the tempo. <laughs> don't, don't flub this shot because if you mess it up, like, it's way too shaped. So there's going to be such a punishment. I have to leave you a little partial or something. I just I put I have way more faith in my in my tempo over my partial tempo. So like I the the partial is a very sparing sparingly used. 
Might have to use another one of those high, highly lofted seven irons now. Yeah. <laughs> Try just something. Was that going to carry the slope? Yeah. Probably for the best that it's off the green. All right. So the uphill definitely. The uphill definitely helps, helps out. us out. Yeah. The only question then is obviously like. <sighs> I think full loft. And then that's going to be short. I think I'd rather be a little bit long and have that backstop potentially come into play. That might be too much. Come on, hit it and stop. Go back. Come back down the hill. Oh, baby. Oh, it's picking up speed. Yeah, it's pretty red back there. Now you gotta sit. Mmm. Colby. I almost took too much loss off of that thing. Colby. You dirty, dirty man. Back to back, just unbelievable shots. Hey, thank you, Elder. How are you doing today, man? Oh, we're gonna get read. <laughs> gonna get like the exact read, actually. Very good. Nice, 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 nice. That was interesting too, because there were some beads moving to the right. <laughs> oh really? Because it looked like on his putt, it kind of like started like just a hair right, kick straight back left, like it was just like a little zig. Yeah, it was like it was looking ghosty for sure. All right. Um, I think with this, this is gonna be. I'm. I gotta have to just try and get you down as far as possible. Right. I don't know four, but it's a little bit fast. It's gonna have to bounce like straight through. It's too well. Light rough might be okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. You'll have plenty of club from there. Probably should have just taken a stock. Fully backspun one and get fairway, but this will work. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. This has been this has been a great, great match so far, Elder. Some, they've had some great putts. We've had a few really nice shot shaped shots. It's uh, it's been a good battle. A lot of fun. A kick left. Oh, I carried it. Backstop, though? Nice use of the green. Yeah, the scoring for 175 greens has been has been solid for sure. Yeah, I might do the same thing. Calculator. <laughs> Think you don't test these? I I bet on it.
Alright, let's see what he can cook up. Oh, hit that. Shit. Banning practices in the next 30. <laughs> My bad. I'm good. I'm good. At three percentage too hard, and uh, I think like I was trying to save it. Beauty. Tried. Scud's putting. Actually, the other guy's pretty good, too. So they've both been <laughs> draining putts, so <laughs> it's like, pick your poison. Ooh. It hung high. I think it was a little bit of a double breaker, maybe? Did yeah, maybe back? there was just a little bit of something, because it looked like it was, like, starting to turn, and then just kind of held. Like, it just, yeah. something, like, kept it from... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Going around the edge there. Room. Almost winning that hole all of a sudden, the way that last putt was looking. I guess the question is, is there like an actual bit of fairway you can drive? Okay. Alright, the fairway is tight. So I'm saying, like, can you get to fairway, or is it... If I lay it back, it might be better for your 7-iron. What was your 7-iron again? Uh, 186. 186, so, yeah. If I get it to, like... To... Oh. oh! Who got kicked? You did. Alright! After a small intermission, we are hopefully back to resuming play. All right, here we go. Oh no. Oh no, that's turning the corner, that should be fine. Yeah, I was trying to lay up farther back. 165 into the wind. It'll just depend on like what the what the hill looks like, but oh, <laughs> he's like tired of this waiting. Maybe it was intentional for it was a tactic. Yeah, three wood, three wood distance. Yep, I agree. It was exactly intentional. That sound, though, every time I hear it, it's just like, oh, no. That punch doesn't ride the wind all that much, but just enough. Oh, I thought it was going to kick more to the right, the way that ridge was looking. It didn't take much time analyzing that. No. <laughs> nice shot, Scud. Really? This lie at my feet, man. No, not feeling it. I'm gonna be so much right to left or left to right. All looks lovely. 
shot. I kind of thought I might have to play a little bit more, but hard to commit to that when you're already fully lofting it. It's one of those like, well, if I put some backspin on it, mm -hmm. maybe, but I was like, the wind is just a touch in, and I, knowing me, if I like put like half backspin or more on this, it's going to end up like 10 yards short. I'd be like, what? <laughs> what happened? Oh, wow, that continues to break at the end. I thought it was going to catch that bottom edge. Took a lot of break to it. <laughs> nice putt, Dango. Perfect. <laughs> no, nothing was moving. I got scared. Like, I see his break like a ton, and then it's like, okay, well... I guess just hit it down there, and then you'll probably have to yeah, do some August. sort of... Wizardry. All right. I'm going to try and play a little bit more of this right-hand side of the fairway, though. Okay. Because there's a ridge left okay. to right on the green, so I'm... Tr Trying to be a little more over here to give you a better angle. You'll see. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect sandwich pitch distance there. I think mine goes like 78. Yeah, that'll be nice uphill into the loft. wind. It's messy for me. See if they can squeeze enough out on this. They're at least on the right side of the ridge, holy. Because it's like a huge fall off on the left. Uphill, three. Stay How do right. I go left? Wait. Oh no. Oh my god. Must have been my swing plane. How was the tempo? It was, it was good. Okay. Well, because it, it like cool. on pitches like a touch fast will get you. It wasn't even well. fast. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Um. Unless my lie was doing something like that. So I'm going to have to try, I think, to, like, check this into the... Fly it and check it? Top of this hill and hope that the rollout is still okay. Fuck. I totally botched this hole. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Might have hit it too far, yeah. That was tough, because I'm like trying to hit a really specific spot, because I don't think I can... I don't think yeah, I can I'm put not. the brakes on it the way I want. Going like right at it. You couldn't miss where I missed. Yeah, like that same shot a little bit to the right, I think we're... Yeah, a few, few yards past, but... Yeah, maybe it's like a place. six, seven footer coming back behind the hole.
On turn. Oh. No. Nice try. Thanks. Oh. All good. All good. The way that just just tickled the hole. Two up, seven to play. Ooh, this ought to be fun for us. <laughs> it's like down, downwind. What could go wrong? Damn. Like, they... It's not Chupacabra. We had an issue where it uh, disconnected on the 10th hole. So we were two up through nine. I was going on, Lucas. Yeah, we were two up oh, through nine, and then it disconnected, and we just hopped into the back nine, so we're technically two up still. All right. So judging by where they were, we probably got to land it pretty damn short. Thing is, the there's a huge mound that slopes off of each other. I, I'm just thinking of it from like how are we gonna find the the green, but because I think seven iron's got to be too short, right? Two K golf and disconnects. They have a more iconic yeah. duo. I don't know, my mind immediately goes to, like, FIFA objective stuff. Left no heart. But yeah, ever since, like, a recent update, it feels like it's gotten pretty bad. <laughs> Green and reg? <laughs> 76 or two, so we can... Up the hill? We can chip it if we'd like. I might still try and putt it. We'll see. Them is the rules. Depends on what the break looks like. I don't trust my putting all, or my chipping all that much, so. <laughs> wow, look at that turn. Ooh. Good chip. I mean, this downhill up at the end of this, or? A little bit downhill, and it sweeps right to left. I might just for pace control's sake try and I think though at the end of this it's gonna sweep way more right to left than I think. I feel like I underhit it the way that that's traveling. Yeah. Not bad. Trying to protect against the uh, slam it like eight feet past. <laughs> Ended up hitting probably about, I think I probably got the like 1% low. Good save. Popping it. He easily went 15 feet by. Yeah, I mean, same good of his, because the problem is if I hit it 3% harder, it's also downhill there, so. Really tough to, really tough to gauge. Let's see what we can do on this drive.
Three or five in the wind. Driver, driver? Probably. So I think I gotta give you an angle. I'm gonna go right. Oh, that's a pull fast. Stay. Stay out of the bunker. Perfect. Oh, what a kick. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, boy. Okay. It looked like it was going to give us a. Yeah, that was a little, uh, that was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> we talked to it, and she listened. Not one of those again. That's going to be tough. Went for it. Yeah, I, you, you got to go for it, right? Like, the hard part is you got to hit like a 110. <laughs> All right, so driver off the deck here is definitely going to carry quite a bit. You can, you're probably just going to have to check it up and try. Well, everything and... does float uh, back to front here. Yeah, I'm just thinking, though, that those first couple kicks so, on the driver go pretty far. Yeah, I'm not going to hit a full one here. Let's just see what full would do. 300 at 0. 0.79, 237. So it's going to fly right to the cup. Yeah, you'll probably it's land it a few back. yards short and bounce it straight past the hole a few times. <laughs> Depending on what that looks like, I want to make it shoot. Heard a Texas instrument? <laughs> now he's using gamer abilities brain. His patented calculator. What's going on, Darnie? Come on. Be good. Don't oh, kick there. Get left! Get left! Why did it go so far to the right? Come back. Yes. Oh, that's no. gonna be that's gonna be a tough putt. <laughs> oh man. That was such an unfriendly kick after we got such a friendly one. Yeah, it's tough for. too, because I think it's one of those things like if it's just a couple yards shorter, it probably takes a harder kick left once it gets up onto the green. But it like kinda clears the ridge just a little bit. Let's see what kind of magic scuds got out of here. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Decent. Know. Decent. Some meat there. Right, baby. Come back to the right. Come back to the right. Does a Come little back. bit through there, but then it kind of peters left. Okay. It's going to be nice, easy uphill putt. Thing still drifts so far down there. So hard to respect the amount of right to left when it doesn't. When you have to hit it so softly, it just breaks so much. Yeah. It's all about finding that fall point. Hope it stays on track. I oh. knew it. I knew that was going to be a tough putt. The way it was freaking turning there at the last little itty bit. Yeah, with Scud's approach. All right. Three up, five to play. Let's see where that's going to put you. 163 into the wind. Should 
should be good, right? Seven's one eighty six, so. Okay, I'm gonna put a little draw. It'll be into the wind, so. Maybe a little D law. Just to I'd always rather have off. to take a little off of the shot than try and overpower something. Right, like that's always the hardest thing. It's way easier to just put a little shot shape on it than to try and get that extra couple percent. At least for me. I... Oh, yeah. That'd be perfect. You may not even have to touch that. Yeah, maybe just like a touch of shape into it, land it just a touch short and let it release a little. I think you'll have about 9 mile an hour wind in your face. But yeah, touch of shape just to make sure. Well, those 7 Stop. irons, even with, you, you have to have a pretty substantial amount of wind or shape for the 7 to want to sit, I feel like. Yeah. At least on green speeds like this, the 7 still kind of wants to roll. If you put some weird action like you did on one hole. <laughs> <laughs> we're not uh, we're not far enough back for that one. <laughs> that was a wild shot. I was surprised it rolled back that much. Oh, that's a tough green. At least from that angle. Alright. Oh, uphill too? A little bit uphill behind. I think this, yeah, it's a touch of backspin, but pretty well stock should be good. Pulled it a little left. Safe. Bye. I guess that uphill. I played a little bit more on the wind effect than I thought. Nice shot. Thanks. Trying to think high roll. I probably got, I, I want to one it and probably got the 99% lie so that I had kind of factored in some extra loss there and then a few uphill and into the wind. Probably doesn't play quite as strong then. I got beads going left and right. Ooh, the fun double break. Nice putt. I just trusted it. <laughs> Thank you. Nice putt. All right, dormy, right? Four up, four to play. 15, 16, 17. Yep. All right, I'm I'm sending it. Get it up this right hand side so it kicks left down into the valley. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, Colby, let's bring this thing home, huh? Yeah, the the three wood the three wood eight iron combo is or, yeah has been kind of interesting because there's just been so much headwind on this course. I mean, when we switched over to driver, we could see a significant difference. Yeah, I think we got lucky the first week because I think we played pretty well with the three six combo. We did, but it was a shorter course, I think. Yeah, well, and it's also the type of the, the six versus the eight, I think, is the big difference there. It's way easier to take distance off than it is to gap. Hey, what's up, Thundee? Hold the ones only, your riot? I haven't had too many sandwiches in the whole world. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we've had a single, like, sandwich approach. Maybe the one pitch shot, and then everything else has been, like, chips. Yeah. I don't even think we've, like, punched or flopped one. We've we've hit some aces, not not in this. It's hard to hit aces, man. Just see what this would do. Just... On the difficulty settings we play on, it is very difficult. But how are you doing, dude? And yeah, Lucas, this is the this is the finals. So, Dango and I are in a good in a good spot. 
Is there green for that to work? There's seven iron. I'm just trying to think here. 226, tailwind. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna, the I problem think... is we're going to be like way short. I'm just trying to think like, is there, is that driver going to get anywhere nice? No. <laughs> You're going to need something to bounce it off of if you. I was going to hit a punch cut driver. Hey, if you've, if you've got it in you, that 61% lie scares the crap out of me though. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Thanks for <laughs> it's like... reminding me. That. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, well, let's try this. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. We're uh, we've been having this tournament go on, so it's got a caveat of three. You have three clubs. Each team yeah, picks their own three, uh, and a putter. So ground. This is the this is the finals match. It was set up World Cup style, so we had groups four four groups of four, and then a knockout. So yeah, our we're playing we're playing driver. Ready for this, Colby? Driver seven sand wedge. Oh, absolutely. And they're playing a uh, three wood eight iron, lob wedge. That thing came to like a stop on that hill. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I that severely. <laughs> 22. Stock, I'm looking at, like, front edge carry. And then it's uphill. I don't think I'm going to get 10 yards out of that. Flop it to be safe. Just to get it up there. Yeah, I'm just trying to think where we're at with this. It's a little bit long still, I think. Lock and spin it. A little partial. Partial flop. Ah, left it way short. I was so scared of like overheading it, and I I went a little bit. Yeah, a little this bit hole early. wasn't good for us. So we lose this one. Yeah, I mean this is just a nasty hole for our for a driver driver combo. Yeah, I would have had to like really overpower that shot, and I was kind of scared too. He was here earlier. He might be. He might be just lurking about, Lucas. After the after the game crashed out on, on Dengo on the tenth hole, Oobs was supposed to be in charge of scorekeeping. Well, that's be. one way to. That's one way to finish it. Nice putt, man. Thanks. Well played. Well played. GG's boys. GG's. The inaugural three club champs. That was a fun match. There's just a lot of wild stuff in that.